never done a haul video before, but I figured to get my channel up and moving along and to add more to it, I decided to show you all what I had ordered from Michaels. There was someone, I think her name, I don't know what her real name is, I can't think of her real name, but um, her Instagram and YouTube channel is called Craft Purge. And I just recently joined both of her Instagram and her YouTube. And she shared about Michael's sale last Saturday of all the um, recollect, recollect, oh my goodness, I can't even talk right, recollections um, sale. Everything I believe was like 60% off and then you can use your coupons and so on and so forth. So they were honoring that online because I could not get to the store. I was really busy with everything. So I ordered some things offline, which I didn't know this. And if some of you do know this, um, that's awesome. Um, but um, when you order off of Michael's, it doesn't all get shipped at one time. It's all separate. And... I didn't know that and I went online and I was looking at my order and I'm like, well, wait a minute, like, I thought this was all coming at once because it was showing that it shipped some straws and, you know, odds and ends were coming different dates, so on and so forth. So I got online and one of the groups I'm in, I typed out my question because it's like a go-to Google site kind of thing for crafting and some of the ladies on there told me like, yeah, you know, they come from different warehouses and so on and so forth. So if you ever order online for Michaels, um, you will, I guess, sometimes get stuff from different warehouses, so they'll come in at different times. Anyways, so let's get into my goodies. So I got some paper straws that I think are just adorable, and I want to use some of these as, like, just when I'm doing swaps as little gifts um, or make them and put them in loaded envelopes or actually use these for some of my tumblers that um, I've recently gotten into too so I got me some pink straws and of course of course of course of course they got me some flowers I got some pink flowers to go with my pink straws. I got some yellow ones. I got some white ones. I'm going to attempt on three of these to actually change them to like a purple. Because I've never dyed um, flowers before. And then some green ones. And then this bad boy. This is, I had to wait a couple of days to get all this. Came with some free air. Don't we all just love some free air? And I got some um, ribbon, which is really pretty. I wonder if I can. And let's see. All right. Woohoo, it's all sticking to me. So pretty. These will definitely go on some mini albums that I'm making, or actually some cards too. It's like almost, I don't know. It says ribbon, but. It actually like almost is close to the same texture as paper. And then ooh, I forgot all about these. I got me some smaller flowers. Cause I have some tiny, tiny, tiny paper clips um, that I want to decorate and alter. I got some yellow ones. 
Can you see the theme, pink and yellow? <laughs> and I love this ribbon collection. I love the circles. It's almost not too pinky, it's purple. I'm gonna try my hand at some of these too. And then we got some jewels, flat back pearls. And then I got some washi tape. And all this stuff was on sale. Originally, everything you see here was gonna cost me about, it would have been like $76, give or take, but I only paid 40. So, that's always nice. And then I love, 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 love these. And I actually purchased two of them because I know someone that I follow on Instagram and Facebook, I've been a huge fan of hers. I know um, that I'd like to put like a, just like a, hey, you know, thanks for all you do for us and sharing your ideas and um, holding swaps and stuff. I'm definitely going to send this as a gift to her with a couple other items that I have. But these are just so cute with the little bows. So I got those. I like to do um, mouse traps, and I got a couple of these to alter some mouse traps. Little jewels and rhinestones. Well, same thing. <laughs> Still working on the vocabulary for my videos, and there's some more paper clips or binder clips. I mean. And then I got some more white flowers because I want to dye some of those. And I got some little ones. And last but not least, I think I got some big flowers because I have a um, what's it called? A clipboard that I want to alter and I feel like it's just big enough for one of these and they were on sale too because they're recollect recollections and I think that's it let me oh got a mountain of stuff that's about to fall let me see yep nothing in there besides a bag of air but I do want to share I did go to Dollar Tree yesterday and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show you everything that I got there because I had to put together a bridal shower gift which I've posted up on my Facebook and Instagram so I bought a lot of cool things for the bride and I discovered also some of these items they got sentiment stickers, which are kind of bigger than what I'm used to, but once again, um, I'm going to be altering a um, clipboard, so this works for that. And then, I'm going to give my my hand at these. Um, I've got a couple mini album projects that I was thinking about using these in, instead of always um, using like string or magnets and stuff like that. I'm going to try to go this route. And then, what I was trying to do this morning before I had to leave for the shower. I So, the lady that I was talking about earlier that I want to give the uh, binder clips to. She started doing, using these little Dollar Tree swap box or embellishment boxes or whatever you want to call them. They've been around, um, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube, so I kind of just went out and got my own. I'm actually building a storage for the ones I have. It makes it more convenient for me um, to see what I have in my stash to try to put things together. If I put it in a box, or if I put it in a bag, or if it's not somewhere around my craft station right now, um, I'll totally forget about it, and I'll just never use it. And when it comes time to doing a swap, I'll be probably find it then, but... So, I've been, you know, using a lot of Dollar Tree 
um, they're in the automotive section, and there's also some that are by the office supply, but my Dollar Tree doesn't carry them, but they're tiny, I mean, they hold a lot, and eventually maybe I'll do a swap and do one of these swaps with a box, but right now I kind of need them. So anyways, enough rambling. I found this one over in the kids aisle and it's a little bit more cheaply made. However, my kid's getting into scrapbooking, so I figured I'd get her her own. And this is the one I have for myself because I also saw, here I'm going to put these over here, and I got two more empty ones too. A lot of embellishments. And I also saw some beads. They had green, blue, and then like a random gold and black. But I mean these would be awesome for shaker cards. That's why I got them. I want to do some more shaker cards and here is a pink and purple one and I found those at the Dollar Tree and I never knew because I'm still really fairly new to the crafting world um, but I always heard people talking about cheesecloth and I'm like what the heck is cheesecloth like I don't know I have my own theories behind it and this is not definitely what I thought it was. Um, but I plan to try to make some flowers out of this. That's why I bought white so I can use my inks and ink it up or my markers. And then I also want to use this, um, I don't know if you guys, well, I'm sure you guys are familiar with like paper mache. But I want to try to use something like that on my um, altered clipboard. So... And then, no, sorry, this was a Michaels. <laughs> when I had to run out yesterday, I got both of these at Michaels. So I went to a couple other, couple places yesterday and I just threw it all together at my desk. Um, they also have this at the Dollar Tree too, um, adhesive spray. I don't know how well it works. Um, I would assume it's, it's it'd be fine for um, your projects. Um, the adhesive spray I do have, oh god, if I spray that and the air blows onto something, I don't even know, say like if it blew on my desk, like my whole desk is going to be sticky, it's a sticky mess. And where's that? And then I saw people making flowers out of um, this stuff, for right now I'm drawing a blank, cray paper, there we go. Um, and I'd like to get my hand at it, but I'm also going to use this to decorate my altered um, clipboard. And then, of course, I got these from the Dollar Tree as well, clothespins. And I was going to use this in the bridal shower box thing that I made, but I decided to keep it and use it excuse me, for when I do my own, when I make my swaps and I can make them look fancy. And I think that as I'm looking around here, that I have left from, oh, and these foam mounting tape. Can't beat it for a buck. And there's one more thing I got, but I can't see it, and I'll just tell you guys about it. Like, if you guys use Cricut, you know, transfer tape that you use to take your vinyl and, you know, put it on glass, or whatever the case may be. Um, I use some of the Dollar Trees, and it's not bad. You gotta be more patient with it. And for a buck, I mean, it saved the day yesterday, because I was really not wanting to run back to Michael's. And when I saw it there at the Dollar Tree, I'm like, we're going to make this work. <laughs> no matter what happens, this has got to work. So, yeah, that was my, well, one, two, three. You saw three things, um, three different hauls, but different times. However, the one I mainly wanted to share with you was the Michaels and how sometimes their sales um, online, or sometimes their sales would only say, like, in stores, but... For whatever reason, the glitch in the system, take advantage of it. I know that sounds horrible. Um, 
it wasn't even like three weeks ago, once again, someone shared about the Cricut Press uh, being on sale and, you know, the maker and all the machines basically. And I got my Cricut Easy Press for 80 bucks, which was a steal. I did get lucky. I don't know if it was necessarily a glitch in the system to where, you know, people weren't supposed to do it and they honored it. Because I know in past times when there's been glitches in the system, they'll just reimburse you. However, a lot of people got the makers for like two something. I got my Easy Press and my friend got her Easy Press at 80 bucks. So definitely check those out. If you like what you saw, and I'll link Craft Purge's YouTube video down below for the idea and the heads up about the Michaels, and she is awesome. Um, crafter. Um, definitely, if, if you want to follow more and see what I make as far as my, you know, my clipboard I'm getting ready to do or this mini album I'm working on and I've got other projects lined up, um, hit subscribe, like the channel, share it. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram and YouTube or Instagram and Facebook, that's fine too. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Have a good weekend and happy Easter.